We have learned different testing and static analysis methods, how to use them in software development. In this video, we discuss three basic arrangements, need for more complex organization of testing, verification testing and validation in software development life cycles, test automation, and some testing frameworks and standards. First, three simple arrangements. The developer may also be the tester, or the customer gives an order, the progr programmer delivers the software, the customer tests, the de developer improves the product, and so on. A more complex process includes iterative testing by the developer, a testing group, and the customer. Which of these arrangements is the best. Need for more complicated testing management may arise in case of a product with critical reliability requirements, an organizationally complicated user, a large system with many users, embedded software, and so on. To start with different arrangements, let us note that the testing methods we have considered so far have different price effectiveness. It is natural to start from simpler ones and then only apply more complex and expensive approaches. For example, there is no sense to use very expensive methods in case of low criticality systems and vice versa. Simple methods are not sufficient for systems with high criticality requirements. In this slide, we see methods range from cheaper to more expensive. And it is natural to use the cheaper methods for applications with lower criticality and more expensive methods for applications with higher criticality. The chosen testing methods must be integrated into the software development lifecycle. There are many kinds of software development life cycles available, but in most cases it is necessary to test the individual software components. This is module component testing. To test in order to expose the defects in the, in the interfaces and in the interactions between integrated components or systems. This is integrated testing. To confirm that the requirements for a specified intended use or application have been fulfilled. This is validation testing. And to test the system to verify that it meets specified requirements. System testing. These activities may be applied iteratively in Agile methods, consecutively in waterfall or in various arrangements in V model, as in this slide. Irrespective of the sequence, it's a good practice to have validation testing and validation activities in parallel to every de development activity. So here we have development activities and testing validation verification activities in parallel. To avoid repetitive manual testing, it is possible to apply test automation. As a naive start, an automated testing environment caused the component to be tested like a mock driver in bottom-up integration testing. It uses the test from the test store and outputs the testing results. For example, different XUnit testing frameworks follow this approach. Test automation improves quality, enables faster integration, simplifies routine work, enables regression testing, and it seems simple. Many Agile methods, as well as DevOps practices, rely on automated testing. Besides saving and executing tests, test automation tools enable saving and executing test scripts, automation of test generation, load testing, 
performance analysis, coverage analysis, static analysis, incident management, and many other features. Test automation may seem cost-effective and simple, but it still may need a lot of resources for tool acquisition, training, creating automated tests, testing itself, organizing and updating tests, this may be very time-consuming, porting to new environments, also may be very time-consuming, and so on. There exist a number of testing frameworks and standards. As an example, the Rational Unified Process Testing Approach comprises iterative development together with a testing mission for each iteration. Different missions are possible, for example, find as many defects as possible, find important problems first and fast, assess perceived quality risks, certify to a given standard, and others. Depending on the mission, testing will have different goals, success criteria, and methods. As another example, the ISO IEC 12207 standard provides a good overview of the verification and validation processes in software development. For more details on software testing, the ISO IEC IEEE 29119 series of standards may be used. In particular, its part 3 supersedes the popular IEEE 829 standard and provide recommendations for test documentation. We have discussed three basic test arrangement, arrangements, need for more complex organization of testing, verification testing and validation in software development life cycles, test automation, and some testing frameworks and standards. More information in, is given in additional references, lectures, exercises and course materials. Thank you for listening and see you in the lectures.